Last are the numbers that 18 years post-democracy, South Africa continues to pay tribute to those who have made an indelible impact on her freedom, some a little more well-known than others, but no less significant in their contribution to breaking the shackles of apartheid. Among them, this former U.S. congressman who was crucial to the passage of sanctions legislation in 1986. To say to President Duclerc, if you want sanctions lifted, uh, then you've got to have majority rule. And when you have majority rule, then and only then will we consider lifting the sanctions. And then, a few years later, we watched Nelson Mandela take the oath of office. Other honorees included the Black Congressional Caucus, among other members of Congress, Trans Africa, a forum lobbying for the continent in Washington, Kodak, one of the first companies to disinvest from South Africa, and the Free South Africa Movement, whose members traveled to South Africa in 1990 when they felt sanctions weren't doing the job fast enough. We wanted him released, and we were just raising hell everywhere. So one night at the hotel, in Cape Town, we got this phone call and it said from the ministry, you don't have to keep going around raising hell uh, and trying to see Nelson because tomorrow we're letting him out of prison. Activists Harry Belafonte and Danny Glover were unable to receive their Mandela statuettes in person. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, Washington.